Well, it seems like Christina Hack is at it again. The flip or flop star is really living up to what she's known for because less than a year after buying her $10.3 million mansion in Dana Point, California, she is moving once again. In May 2022, the HGTV legend dropped $12 million for a sleek, modern estate in Newport Beach, California, while selling her other home in an off-market deal. Aside from this new mansion, Christina also has a getaway property in Nashville, Tennessee that she bought in August 2021. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Christina Hack, or Christina Hall as she's now known, is a famous real estate investor and TV star best known for previously starring on the HGTV series Flip or Flop with her ex-husband, Tarek Al Musa. The HGTV veteran is also currently starring on her own series on the network, Christina on the Coast. While she had just moved into a new home in an exclusive gated Dana Point community last year, it seems that Christina recently flipped in an off-market deal, selling it for $11.5 million to aerospace entrepreneur Norm Christensen. Now she and her current husband Joshua have purchased a $12 million Newport Beach mansion, making an offer just moments after it went up for sale. So is this latest piece of real estate Christina's next flip, or could it be a long-term base for she and her family? I guess only time will tell. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment and this one checking out where Christina Hack calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Also guys, if you're anything like me and you find yourself always rushing around, you like doing your nails at home. Not to mention, I suck at painting my nails, but recently I discovered Nail Reserve and I love it. Now I can use the UV gel colors easily at home and when I get bored and I want to change the shade, I can just peel them off. So it's easy on my nails and every time they look like I went to the salon. Nail Reserve recently rebranded as they used to be Nail Addict and if you would like to try their awesome products, I've posted a link in the description box to follow. You can also use my 50% off coupon code Kara, which is also down below. Now, let's get into this video. In May 2022, Christina and her husband Joshua Hall made an offer on their new house just moments after it went up for sale. Clearly, she knows a good property when she sees one and had to have it. For $12 million, Christina purchased a mini mansion just built in 2021, located in Newport Beach, California. Her 0.37 acre property might not be waterfront, but it's just a short walk to the ocean, and it's also a quick distance from Newport Harbor, Castaways Park and Balboa Peninsula. Also nearby are the luxury shopping and dining destinations that are a signature of Newport Beach. Christina's modern estate spans 6,984 square feet of space with five bedrooms and 5.5 bathrooms, slightly larger than her current Dana Point home, which she bought less than a year ago, adding an extra 900 square feet. Her new home was designed by Laidlaw Schultz Architects, and it was described in the listing as an architectural tour de force inspired by mid-century icon. The contemporary abode is full of open plan living spaces as well as surrounded by glass windows. Interiors also boast imported terrazzo, a security system, home automation, and elsewhere a stunning home movie theater. The sleek foyer has wooden ceilings overhead and shiny floors leading to the common spaces which offer easy indoor-outdoor access thanks to a wall of retractable glass. There are a handful of stylish living spaces including a floating staircase to connect the floors. Near the upscale kitchen, there's also a breakfast nook with a growing tree as a centerpiece. Unfortunately, because the deal happened off market, there aren't too many photos of the rooms in Christina's new home. The residence is built in a slight U shape with hard lines and crisp details surrounding a stunning courtyard where you'll find a swimming pool and small grassy lawn. Christina reportedly bought the home before it ever even hit the market, within 60 seconds of being available. Her new place is about a 30 minute drive from her current home, which she bought not even a year ago for $10.3 million in Dana Point and has now successfully flipped in a deal, selling it for $11.5 million. Well, let's take a look at that place next. Records show that despite living in this home less than a year, Christina recently sold her mansion in the exclusive Orange County gated community of the stand at Headlands. It's a 24-7 guard gated community of about 45 newly built custom homes in the posh neighborhood of Dana Point, Orange County. Built on spec in 2020, 
Christina's soon-to-be former home is glamorous to say the least, with boxy and contemporary architecture and some Tuscan-style accents. Inside the mansion spans over 6,000 square feet of space with 5 beds and 6.5 baths. According to the listing materials, all of the rooms have designer details and were built with no expenses spared. Christina's hillside house had an open floor plan with a sprawling great room that connected to the dining room and kitchen. The living room had a wide fireplace built into a stone wall, and a wall of glass opens to reveal an oceanside terrace. Not only did the kitchen come equipped with premium wolf and sub-zero appliances, there were also self-closing cabinets and drawers. Other goodies throughout the beach house estates included a home movie theater, private office, and a games room with a pool table. Not to mention there's a fully enclosed greenhouse style dining terrace with more views of the ocean and a four car garage. In the upstairs master suite, the space was complete with everything from a fireplace to a spa style ensuite and of course a massive walk-in closet. There's even a complete rooftop deck with a fireplace and a room to entertain guests while soaking up beach and water views. The quarter acre lot not only overlooks the Pacific, but there's also a pool, hot tub, fire pits, and of course plenty of outdoor seating and dining spaces. When she wants to get away from California, Christina also has a property near Nashville. In August 2021, it was reported that she found herself a four-year-old farmhouse on nearly 24-acre lot in Franklin, Tennessee. Located 25 miles from downtown Nashville, this estate serves as the perfect family getaway for Christina when she wants privacy and peace. She sealed the deal in this beautiful modern farmhouse at the price of $2.5 million, and inside there are 5,000 square feet of space with six beds and five 5.5 baths throughout. Built in 2017, Christina's Nashville home is on a sunny hill at the end of a long private driveway, decked out in white board and batten siding, and offering a classic wraparound front porch. Interiors are a mix of rustic and organic materials like wooden beams, vintage brick, wagon wheel style light fixtures, rough cut stone, and reclaimed woods, combined with the latest in high tech and luxury materials. Walking in the home, there's a gorgeous wooded staircase to one side, and then the main level also boasts the spacious common areas. For holidays or family gatherings, there's a formal dining room that can be closed off from the center hall by a barn style door, and there's also a sprawling L-shaped great room. The great room is made up of a cozy family room with brick fireplace, casual dining area, and high class kitchen with island snack bar and vaulted beam ceiling. Christina's Tennessee getaway is surrounded by dense woodlands, making for an ideal private setting up for the star. The grounds of the home offer a swimming pool, garaging for four cars, a trampoline, and even a chicken coop. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that inside look at three homes of HGTV star Christina Hack, including her latest purchase, and that is going to wrap up this house tour. After seeing those three properties, which was your favorite? I think mine is her home in Tennessee. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As usual, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!